guys, it's Sam, and this is my spoiler-free review of the Fallen Kingdoms series by Morgan Rhodes, consisting of Fallen Kingdoms, Rebel Spring, and Gathering Darkness so far. This is a six-book series, and there's also going to be a spin-off trilogy companion series. So this is not all, but I really want to talk about this series more, so I'm giving you the halfway mark review. <laughs> Fallen Kingdoms is a YA fantasy series and it follows four main perspectives, although there's other perspectives also linked in with it, and it is all about political intrigue and magic and craziness. Craziness. It's talked about as kind of Game of Thrones light in that there's a lot of political intrigue, there's a lot of character death, no one's really safe, you follow a lot of perspectives, that kind of thing. If you're at all intrigued, that's not even where it... there's so much more to it. Each book keeps getting more and more complex, and you think you have it all figured out, and you never really do. As far as the world building in this series, I really love the way the world building is done in here. It's not info dumpy at all, and a lot of the world building is done through the myths of this world. There's definitely certain mythos and certain almost like folk stories and stuff like that that are interwoven throughout just by different characters and such, and that is the way that the world is kind of built and that you kind of get how, where their morals and values come from and everything about their history, and it's so cool how you're always constantly learning new things. Everything is not revealed in the first book. Everything is not even revealed in the third book. It is insane, but I really, really love the world and how you're slowly building more and more. There is a wonderful map in the front of this, which is so helpful. So our entire story takes place in this world, and there are three distinct countries in it, and each country has its own way of doing things, has its own kind of characters, etc. And we follow characters from each country and how they intertwine and everything, and each book has a little more of a complex map. So you're constantly getting new things and learning new things about this world, and I absolutely adore it. Secondly, let me talk about the characters. The characters are why I read this series. I really enjoy character-driven series, and this is definitely one of them. You are constantly in one of their heads at all times, and you really do grow with them throughout the series. And the character development within these books is so good. I'm so excited. The fact that it's a six-book series makes me so happy because we're going to get so much character development. It is amazing. I definitely do have some favorites within this series, but my favorites are also kind of constantly changing. I have two ultimate favorites who've been my favorites since the beginning, and they're never going to change. I'm not going to let you know who those are. If you are interested, I'm doing a gush video on this series. I will link that down below, so if you have read it, you can go and check it out. But I don't want to bias you guys on anything as far as characters and which ones I think you should like, so I'm not going to talk about that here. But there are two that I love the most, but they're also constantly changing as far as like side characters and stuff like that, and who you kind of like, and then you find out their motives about stuff. It's good. The characters in here are really good. Also, if you have watched the PSA that Lainey from Gingery's Lainey did on this series, I will link it down below if you haven't, because it's gold. But she is right when she says that you basically ship every character with every other character. If you really like romantic plot lines in books, but not where it's just one plot line, there's a lot. There's a lot going on, and basically every character is good with every character. If you have a shipper heart like me, and you are a huge fangirl or fanboy, and love the romantic tension series is for you. Yes. Yes. As far as plot, each of these books are very, very fast-paced, and I really, really enjoy that. It doesn't really drag on unnecessarily. Things are always happening in this series. Some people say that things happen too fast. I disagree. It keeps me very engaged. As I said, there are a lot of character deaths, especially in the first book. They're kind of dwindling down a little bit because we're running out of characters a little bit, but the character deaths, especially in the first book, really set up the fact that no one is safe, even though I don't think the main characters are, are gonna ever die. I'm not always correct with that, and no one is ever quite safe. So I'm nervous for my favorites, because you never know. So the first book, Fallen Kingdoms, I end up giving a four stars. Rebel Spring, I gave 4.5 stars. The plot really started to pick up, and you started to get even more kind of into the backstory of everything, kind of figuring out what exactly is happening, but you still didn't really know. And Gathering Darkness, I gave five out of five stars. Absolute favorite so far. These books keep getting better. I love the character development. I love the character arcs. It's so good. 
so good and I'm really looking forward to the rest of the series and the spin-off series. These are books that I will definitely be pre-ordering every single time that they come out. I cannot wait for them and still in this book we don't quite know what is happening. There are still things where you're not quite sure and that really does leave me very intrigued. I'm very nervous for all my favorite characters. I cannot wait to see where the series goes. Frozen Tides is the name of the next book and it comes out in the fall. So excited. So, so excited. So that is it for my spoiler fear review. Comment down below and let me know if you have read this series and what you think of it. Also, if you have read this series, go and check out my spoilery gush video, which I'll be talking more about spoilers and such. Also, I did do a read-along for this back at the end of 2014, so I will link those live shows down below for you to check out if you're interested in kind of the unfiltered discussion, but if you want more of the filtered discussion, go and check out my gush video. So thank you all for watching and I'll see all of you guys soon. Bye! <laughs>